So today we're going to be talking about installing a few software on our Mac and those are basically very important software uh, that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, let's get started and we'll be installing first Brew and then we'll install Java 8. The reason that we'll install Java 8 is because uh, that is still one of the most popular Java version out there and after that we'll install Maven and we'll install the IntelliJ. So let's get started with the Brew. So for to installing the Brew, first thing first, we need to open up our terminal and after that we just go to it, our browser and go to this website which is brew.sh. I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, once you get in the, uh, the uh, brew.sh page, we, you will see this page and uh, so before we get started, like we should know what is Brew doing. So Brew is basically one open source software package management system. It uh, simplifies the installation of software on Mac. So let's see how it works. So to do installation, we just copy this um, this text down there. Just copy it and paste it on your terminal. And hit enter button. So it will ask you to press return button, which is enter button. And we'll do it one more time. And it will ask for our uh, your local password, local uh, computer password. So I'll just put mine. So by the time uh, the brew is being installed, I will just do the download of the IntelliJ because it takes a little time because it's a big software. So to download the IntelliJ, you need to go to this website, the jetbrains.com. I will put the link in the description below. But yeah, once you get into the uh, JetBrains website, it should look like this. And we just go to the download. And there's two versions. One is Ultimate and another one is Community. So for us, we don't really need the Ultimate version. The Community version is good enough for us. So just hit the Download button and it will start the download. I already have downloaded it, so I don't have to download it. But you guys just click, hit the Download button and it download will get it started. So yeah, let's go back to the Brew. Looks like our Brew is installed. So to uh, make sure I mean, like if our brew is working properly, we can just say brew help. So it will all give all the brew commands that we might need to use. So once you see this page popping up, that means your brew was installed successfully. So that's it about the brew. And then let's go back to installing the Java 8. So to install a Java 8, uh, we, we can install it from the Oracle website or we can just install it from the brew itself. So as we install the brew, let's let's get it work. So uh, to do that, first thing we need to do is, um, we can just say brew install Java, but what it will do, will it will install the latest version of Java. So, but we're trying to install the Java 8. So to install the Java 8 first, we need to do brew tab, cask room, versions so it will basically enable the previous versions of the java into the brew so let's see if brew has the java 8 to do that we need to search brew search java oops sorry my bad So yeah, so here we can see the Java 8. So uh, that's what we're trying to install, right? So now we'll just do brew cask install Java 8. And yeah, uh, our Java 8 download should get started.
So at this point, it will ask for your local computer power. So it looks like our Java 8 was successfully installed. So let's uh, make sure if Java was successfully installed. So to do that, we can just write Java version. And what it will do, it will give me the version of the Java that is installed on the machine. So it's showing is as 1.8. Basically, the Java version 8 is called as 1.8. So yeah, so that is done. Um, so after the installation is done, so we need to uh, set up the environment variable. So what we'll do is we'll do an echo dollar Java underscore home. So look, it's not showing anything here, but um, we need to set up the Java home. To, so to do that, we need to go inside the bash profile. To uh, open the bash profile, first we need to do is uh, we need to create the uh, bash profile file by doing touch bash underscore profile. So let's just paste it here. Okay, and after that, we will give that file reading and writing permission. And after that, we will just open the bash profile. So yeah, this is our bash profile. So here we are going to be writing all the environment variable that we're writing to change. So let's copy the Java home and put it in the bash profile. Okay. And now if you try to get out from the bash profile, you cannot. The way to get out is you hit that escape button and then write colon W Q. So basically W is for save the file and Q is for quit. So now we are out of our bash profile. So now we need to refresh the bash profile by source dot bash profile. So our bash profile has been successfully refreshed. So now we need to check if uh, Java is Java home is showing up or not. So let's check by Echo Java Home. Yeah, so now it looks like our Java Home is set it up. So that's all about Java installation for now. Now let's install the Maven. And to install the Maven, we can simply just call our brew. So let's call brew to install Maven. So brew will be updating and then it will be installing the Maven. Yes, yeah, so it looks like Maven has been ins installed successfully. But for Maven as well, we're going to need to set up the Maven home and the environment variable as well. So to do that, we would go back to our bash profile one more time. So let's open it by vim dot bash profile. So okay, now let's just export these two lines. So yeah, after putting these lines, we are just gonna get out from the um, bash profile by escape and colon wq to save it and quit. So yeah, now our maven is set up as well. So now what I can do is we can just run maven version and it will show us the version of the maven and where is the maven home and the java home as well. So now the Maven installation is done as well. Now we'll be installing the IntelliJ. So uh, to install the IntelliJ, there is two ways. So one is the typical way that we can just, um, uh, remember I downloaded the IntelliJ uh, from this website. 
So we can just install it from here and there is other ways to install from the brew. So as we install the brew, let's make it work. So to do that, let's just search, uh, brew search, IntelliJ. Let's see what brew has. Yeah, looks like brew has two IntelliJs. So one is IntelliJ IDEA and one is IntelliJ IDEA CE. So basically this is the ultimate version, the IntelliJ IDEA itself. So which you, you're gonna be, if you download that one, we're gonna get the trial. We don't want that. We want the community edition, which will be enough for us. So let's just tell brew to download it. Brew cask install. IntelliJ IDEA CE. So it is basically installing the IntelliJ IDEA CE, which is the community edition. So yeah, looks like our IntelliJ IDEA has been installed successfully. So now let's just try to search for it by giving command and spacebar and our spotlight search is gonna pop up. So from here, we're gonna search IntelliJ IDEA CE. Let's just open it and let's see how it looks. So when we install uh, IntelliJ uh, for the first time, it's gonna ask some things that we're gonna go over. So we just say asking to open the file because it's downloaded from internet. Security purpose. So yeah, so it is asking now it's gonna ask ask for if I had any previous idea setting, I mean IntelliJ idea setting, then we could go from there. But for this machine we have not set it up the IntelliJ yet. So we'll just go with do not import, import. So we'll just confirm this agreements, continue. And you could choose whatever you want. You could go with the white one if you like or the dark one. I personally really like the dark. So I'll just go with the dark one, next key maps. You can set this up if you want. So for now, let's just go with this. Default plugins. If we want to install any plugins from here, we could, which we will need it later on. But for now, let's just keep it as talk. So yes, yeah, so our this is our IntelliJ ID, and let's just create a new project. And for now, let's just create a simple Java project. Next. Next, let's give it a project name. Let's call it Hello World. Finish. So IntelliJ, whenever it, we turn it on, is will give you some tips. So if you want those tips, you could keep keep it tick as yes, and it will give you some tips all the time. So now let's just see how it looks. So this is basically our project. This is how it looks. And here we can see like we have two folders, couple of folders basically. So one is source, idea. So idea is basically IntelliJ settings and patterns. So which, I mean system files, so which we will not really use them. So for us inside the source is where we're gonna be working. So inside the source, we're gonna be creating a package cause we need to work inside a package. So let's just create a package and let's call it hello so our package is created inside that we're going to be creating a class so do that we just right click new and a java class so let's just call it hello world
so yeah so basically we just created our first project inside the IntelliJ and today we'll be stopping the video here and on the next videos we're gonna be talking about more in terms of like creating project and the classes and some other more informations thank you so much for keeping your patience and watching this video thank you bye bye